Alright, so in this video I'm going to look at AimLab's flicking tasks, which ones are best and which ones are worst. If you like this kind of content, subscribe for more and let's begin. Alright, so first off I want to take a look at grid shot. Grid shot is by far the most popular task in AimLab and people will use it to compare their skills and people think that grid shot actually reflects skill when in reality it's a terrible task. What happens is the balls are very big in grid shot so you're flicking to an easy target and you're not actually developing any skills. Additionally, people get into the habit of flicking to a target really fast, which means that they'll be less precise with their aim. And this just causes grid shot to really hurt people's aim because they'll be flicking, say, to this part of a target. But if you try and flick that precisely in game, you could end up shooting a wall or something because a head will be a lot smaller than this ball in a game. So that's why I don't think grid shot is a good task for anyone to be doing unless they're trying to get worse at aiming. All right, so the next task I want to go over is six shot. Six shot basically just does what everyone thinks grid shot does. Six shot allows you to practice your flicking by flicking to different balls, which are ranged out in a similar size area to grid shot, but the targets are significantly smaller. So they're a lot harder to hit which basically just means you won't develop a habit of flicking really fast to the wrong position on your screen, which can help a lot in aiming, just because you're going to hit your shots better. So this is the task I would recommend if you're trying to practice your flicks to precise targets, not grid shot. Alright, so next task I want to talk about is a reflex shot, which basically allows you to build your reaction time. Now in reflex shot what happens is one ball spawns in and you have to shoot that ball. However, the ball will despawn after a certain period of time that's somewhat fast. So you actually have to flick to the ball and flick to different targets very fast. So this will help you a lot with your reaction time as long as it's not too easy for you. If it's too easy for you then you just shouldn't bother with it because if you can get the ball consistently before the time runs out you're not building your reaction time but if you can't then it would be really useful for you to use this task in order to build your reaction time all right if you struggle with a reflex shot either because it's too easy or too hard you can come down to sandbox go to sandbox ai go to reflex shot and then the aim lab ai will adjust the space size and timing of the targets in order to make it more ideal for you so this will make it much easier for you to practice your reaction time if you feel like reflex shot isn't good for you on the default settings all right so microflex is a really cool task to use in conjunction with reflex shot basically what microflex does is it it's the exact same thing as a reflex shot except the balls are closer together and smaller which requires you to use your wrist and fingers so you're still developing your reaction time you're just using a different part of your arm which helps you a lot when you're developing your aim because you need to use your arm wrist and fingers to aim well so this task is really good for you micro shot also has an ai mode so if you feel like it's too easy or too hard come down to sandbox ai and use micro shot down here instead all right, so the last task I want to talk about is motion shot. Motion shot, in my opinion, is a really cool concept. Basically what happens is you spawn in and it gives you a ball in the center of your screen and you shoot the ball and then you get a moving target you have to flick to. And this basically forces you to practice flicking to a moving target and obviously the size and speed vary. So it's a really cool task and really good for practicing flicking onto a moving target, which I find you have to do a lot more in games than you have to flick onto a still target. So this is a great task for practicing that skill. All right, so in my opinion, those are the four best tasks for flicking training in AimLab. This video is part of a series, so subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here next time.